Right, so how would you solve this question 93 on stoichiometry? How many grams of hydrogen are left over when 15 grams of nitrogen reacts with 8 grams of hydrogen to produce ammonia? How would you do it? The first thing you have to do here is to write the equation of reaction. So N2, that's nitrogen, plus O2, that's oxygen. And then you have NH3, that's ammonia. And then you need to balance this equation by putting a 2 here. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> it should be hydrogen. That's H2. All right, so you need to put a 3 here. Okay, so now it all makes sense. Nitrogen is 2 on both sides and hydrogen is 6. On both sides so this is getting interesting how many grams of hydrogen are left over so they've already told us here that the hydrogen is the excess reagent and that would just imply that the nitrogen is our limiting reagent does that make sense now nitrogen let's find out how many moles of that we have 15 grams can be converted to moles by dividing the grams by the molar mass of nitrogen. And the molar mass of nitrogen is going to be 2 multiplied by the relative atomic mass of nitrogen, which I'm writing there as 14. So let's calculate that. We're going to have 0 0.535 moles. Okay. Then what amount of oxygen do we have? Eight grams. Okay, let's just find out what that would be. Did I say oxygen again? I meant hydrogen. So hydrogen, the number of moles of hydrogen is the mass of hydrogen, which is eight grams, divided by the molar mass of hydrogen, which is two multiplied by one. And that just gives us four moles. Okay, so that's that. Now, we can see here that from this equation, one mole of nitrogen reacts with three moles of hydrogen, okay? So that would mean that if we have 0 0.535 moles of nitrogen, it will react with the particular amount X of hydrogen. So that would just uh, mean that our x will be equal to 0 0.535 multiplied by 3. And that gives us 1.607 moles. So that's the number of moles of hydrogen that should be at. But then we have 4, right? We're bringing in 4. Only 1.6 is reacting. So what would be left over? What would be left over? Let's calculate by subtraction. So the excess is basically 4 that we had initially minus 1.607 that reacted with the nitrogen. So when you do that subtraction, you should have C. All right, so let me do this. That's 2.393 moles of hydrogen. That is the number of moles that is left over of hydrogen. So how do we complete that to get the mass of hydrogen? It's the number of moles we have multiplied by the molar mass of hydrogen. And that would give us 4.786 grams. And that is just our answer. Yes. Another way to do it is, I mean, let me let you know something. I've solved like these questions on a book to make it faster, the calculation things. And then I just realized that 
at this point, the way I solved it before, I did not do the excess. What I did was, after the moles here of hydrogen that reacted, I converted it to grams at this point. So you find the amount in grams of hydrogen, and then to find out the amount that will be left over, you just subtract from the original 8 grams of hydrogen that you have. See that? So that's another method. Or we just find out what the leftover moles will be by subtracting from 4 here, and you convert that leftover moles to grams. You'll still have the same answer, because I see I also have the same answer doing it the other way. So that's really, really nice. Yes, so let me know what you think about question 93. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'm encouraging you to subscribe because there are more videos like this coming your way. And if you want to get the total package, like all these videos together in a concise file where you can easily access them and practice your chemistry, then you can reach out to us and we'll help you with that. All right. So if this video was helpful to you, you can give it a like and I'll see you on question 94. Bye-bye.